All right, logarithms. We know what they are. We know that they are exponents. Logs are the same thing as exponents. We need to talk about what the laws of logarithms are because just like with exponents, there are only certain things we can do. We can't just cancel them out and make them go away because we feel like it because we don't like them. So here are the big three. If A and B are both positive, then log A plus log B, we can combine those together to become log a times B. And the base must be the same for these all the time. So one log with a base, second log with a base, added together we can combine them together with the same base. Sort of the same idea as um, common denominator. Subtracting two logs of the same base, we can combine them to become log of A divided by B and these properties should look similar to the laws of exponents. Now here's one that's a little different. If we have a constant times log, we can rewrite that as log times a to the n. This exponent, or this coefficient, becomes an exponent. And vice versa, we can alternate between these two. In solving equations with logarithms and simplifying logarithms, these properties become very important. Now let's look at proof. So let's say we start with c to the log a plus log b. Using properties of exponents, we know that we can split this into c to the log a times c to the log b. And now something we discovered about logarithms is c log c and c log c will undo each other, leaving us with a times b. And you know, since we're talking logarithms, let's jump back into log form. C log C of A times B. And what we can then do is look at, okay, um, this exponent has to be equal to the final exponent and that proves the first property, the first law. Let's look at the second one. Um, we're going to start with c to the log c a minus log c b. Um, why don't you try and prove this? Why don't you get this down to a statement like this? Let's show that this is equal to c to the log a divided by b. So pause the video and give it a try. All right, so first step, subtracting the exponents means we can divide two powers. The C log C's go away, and then we can bring the log back in and make the thing that we're logging the A over B. So, C log C A minus, or sorry, log C of A minus log base C of B equals log base C of a divided by b. And the third one, if you're curious, look it up or give it a try. So let's do some examples. Use the laws of logarithms to write the following as a single logarithm or as an integer. I'll show you an example here. First one, adding two logs, they're both base 10. Notice no base written, that means they're base 10. So since they're both base 10, we can multiply the 5 and the 3. Log 15. And now here's a quick question. 10 to the something, is that a nice way to get 15? Can we write this as a nice integer? No, not really. There's our simplified answer. Pause the video, see what you can come up with B, and see if you're feeling, if you're feeling special today. All right, B. Same base as log base 3. We are subtracting two logarithms of base 3. We can take and combine them together into one base 3 using division. Twenty-four divided by eight is three. Now let's think about this. Three to some power is that th what what gives us three? Um, well, that's one. Now this last one. Um, you might be looking at this saying, well, 
they're not logs. They're not both logs. We can't combine them. Hello. Um, well, we can make them logs. Let's keep the log base 2 of 5. Now, log base 2 of what would give me 1? This is my thought bubble. Log base 2 of what is 1? Log base 2 of 2 is the same thing as 1. Now they are both log base 2, and because they are both log base 2, we can combine them together. And since we're subtracting, it's going to be a division log base 2 of 5 halves. And we're done. Now, let's go the other, let's combine these together a little bit more. Um, similar questions. Um, what can we do with the coefficient of 2 and 3? Hmm. Well, can't we bring those up as exponents? So it becomes log of 7 squared, or 49, minus log of 2 cubed, or 8. And now we can write them as log 49 over 8. Remember, that's base 10. The next one, log of 3 squared is 9, plus, plus 3, ooh, hmm, what can we do with that? So log base 10 of what equals 3, well, 10 to the third is 1,000. And since we're adding two logs, we multiply that which we are logging, log of 9,000. Last one. Log base 10 of 8 divided by log base 10 of 4. Let's just cross off the logs, right? Wrong. Can't do that. Um, so what can we do? Um... Remember, this is 10 to some power equals 8, and this is 10 to some power equals 4. Do those come out nicely? Um, I'm thinking no. Um, and to be honest, I'm completely having a brain stall here. Um, I'm going to split this video into two parts. Come back to me in just a second. Let's check this next video and we'll finish this off.